What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about the Infinity War trailer that I have not seen <laughs> and I'm not going to watch it and it sucks because I see everybody online talking about it. I see everybody freaking out over it and I do love watching movie trailers. I love being part of that excitement, that build up, that anticipation. My there. The uh, all, all of the speculation and theorizing, I love being part of that. The problem is, is in the last few years, trailers have gotten to the point where they have become a negative for me instead of a positive when it comes to watching the film. I've seen too many instances where the tone misrepresents the film. I've seen with Marvel specifically, Marvel will release these trailers that has this amazing dark doom and gloom tone and it kind of feels like, you know, the Dark Knight or something like that. And you get so hyped. Age of Ultron was like that. And, and then you go into it and it's 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 more of that light Marvel feel. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but you're representing this dark tone in the trailer. You're, you're setting a precedent. And then I go into the movie and it's kind of like with Civil War. Amazing trailers. And then there's a damn joke in the middle of a fight scene. I'm like, ah. Why, why, why? Just why do you have to tell jokes in the middle of fight scenes? Um, but that's, that's why I've slowly moved away from trailers. That's not to say I don't watch trailers at all, but I'm slowly moving away from them. Another problem is there will be scenes in trailers that you kind of get attached to or excited. And you're like, oh my God, I can't wait to see that moment in the film. Oh my God, I can't wait for that. And then you watch the film and the moment never happens. Rogue One is a classic example of that because of all the reshoots and everything like that. You go in there, and there were so many moments from the trailers that were never there. Like, remember that part where Krennic, director Krennic, who, Ben Mendelsohn is the man, by the way. But uh, Krennic was walking through the water with his cape down, like, from behind. That was never in the movie. That was an awesome moment. That looked amazing. But it wasn't in the movie, because they did so many reshoots. And so that's another reason I try my best to stay away from, from trailers, because it's just about the expectations that it places upon me and I'm really adamant about the actual experience in the theater the first time you see a film and how you react and things like that again it sucks for me because I do love movie trailers I really really do and I've always enjoyed this aspect of it but the bottom line is movie trailers are not for me they're not for a lot of you and I don't mean they're not for you, meaning they're not intended for me. They're not intended for you. They're intended for the general audience that might be on the fence or maybe is not even aware. The people that don't follow this stuff like you and I. Um, I'm going to be there opening night for Infinity War, as are most of you. I'll be there multiple times opening weekend. But from a business perspective, I completely understand and I'm not complaining for why they do that. They need to get as many asses in the seats and I completely support it. I'm just saying for me, I'm trying my best to stay away from these trailers anymore. Um, <clears throat> the last trailer I really watched a lot and got worked up for was the Last Jedi Monday Night Football trailer. And we all know how that worked out. Um, and that was, again, the tone of that trailer was not a proper representation of the film we got. I mean, that tone gave you this amazing, epic, you know, dark tone and we open the damn movie with Galaxy Quest and Luke throwing the lightsaber, the thing we had been anticipating for two years, just tossing it over his shoulder like, F it. And I'm like, holy crap. I mean, not saying that that would have been better for me if I wouldn't have watched the trailer, but the trailer set uh, up a tone that was not properly represented in the film. And that's what I don't like. So anyway... So, I've had a few people ask me about the Infinity War trailer. I'm not watching it, um, and that's the bottom line, because I'm not even going to do the Stone Cold thing, but that's the bottom line. And so, uh, let me know what you guys think, though. Did you watch the trailer? Did you enjoy it? Are you kind of moving away from trailers? What are your thoughts on trailers in general? Um, another one I can mention before I wrap this up, Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, my Lord. I mean, they showed everything in the Spider-Man Homecoming trailers. And I mean everything. It was ridiculous. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.